Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy State, and we are back. Some of this Gears Judgment campaign, insane mode, and we are on Act Three, Chap Act Act One, Chapter Three. And uh, I know a few of my friends had a, had a, had some trouble with this. Me, not so much, because I actually I actually like using the hammer burst, so it really doesn't bother me too much that I'm only limited to the hammer burst mostly. And uh, for this part, you can actually take a lot of these locusts out early on. Like, you can take out about maybe three of them before the Cantus jumps up out the ground because you have to move up a little closer for the Cantus to pop up out. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's a good strategy because you can kill those drones off before the Cantus comes out and you really don't have to worry about the Cantus picking them up after they're down. Save some ammo. Plus, that first Cantus is really easy to kill anyway. He has, like, I think, like, maybe like three quarters of the health of the regular Cantuses, which is good. And then, uh, for this, I usually like to push hard left or hard right. I usually go to the right. I mean, it's a, it's, to me, you get a pretty good, uh, pretty good view of anybody hiding along the middle. You do have to worry about these guys right here throwing grenades and shooting down on you. And you have to worry about the Canthus throwing an ink at you. But, uh, there's a lot of room a lot of room to work around over there and you get a pretty good view of you know of guys you see the uh, the drone down there in the middle to my to my left right here you can get pretty good view of anybody hiding along there you can usually get about two you know two quick kills and the in the plus side of being over there is that uh, your teammates will actually push up to those first set of steps right there and it'll draw a lot of the uh, enemy fire off of you but you know if, if you're you know if you if you're decent with the with the shot, you know, with the hammer burst, then it's uh, it's shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you take your time. And if you're not good with the hammer burst, it's a pretty good chance for you to go ahead and, you know, work on it a little bit. This is good practice. Right here, some for some reason he decided not to kill me. He just let me go, which I'm grateful for. And if you do run out of ammo, just go ahead and run around. A lot of this, a lot of those enemies in the middle, they drop a lot of red clips red ammo clip so you can just kind of just run straight down the middle from one side to the next and just pick up a lot of ammo I think you get like a like 20 20 hammer burst bullets for each red clip you pick up which is good but uh, basically I like to uh, after I get up to the first set of steps I like to just kind of chill over here pick off anybody over the top definitely want to aim for the Cantuses first it's because it's a, you know, you don't want to really deal with them tickers, especially if they come out of nowhere. Try not to poke your head out too much like I did. Because those one shots, they will, they will train on you as soon as they see you. Now that the, the Cantuses are down, I'm going to try to clear the middle out a little bit. Because they're still uh, coming from upstairs. And you are able to uh, kill those one shot guys from here. So if you you know if you want to go ahead and you know take your time and wait and just kind of clear them out, go ahead and do that. But now that I'm out of ammo, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Onyx box, save it for when you need it. You know, because if it fills your ammo up completely, save it for when you need it. You know, you're out of ammo and you don't you don't really have room to push up to really look for any of those red clips. Then that's when I'd kind of recommend going back and picking it up. But uh, the good thing about, to me about being over in this spot is uh, if the tickers do show up, you do have room to kind of, you know, to move and get away. Not like when you're on the sides over there. You definitely have a lot more space to work with. And uh, your teammates actually draw a lot of the fire off you. And the, t the tickers usually will go after them instead of you, which is good. And you don't, and like I said before, you don't have to worry about picking your teammates up. If they're down long enough, they'll pick themselves up. Or, you know, one of your teammates will go do it. So you really don't have to worry about them too much. And basically it's just, you know, keeping your, trying to keep your eye on things. Since you're over in this corner, everything pretty much has to come from in front of you to get to you. So you have a pretty good vantage point, pretty good viewpoint to see everything. Definitely watch out for them grenades. And you, def yeah, you definitely got to watch out for grenades. And if there's Cantuses, watch out for those inks because they will kill you very, very quickly. But uh, since you, I mean, you have a lot of cover over here, you can take your time, conserve your ammo, and uh, it's pretty, yeah, pretty much just, just move slow. You, there's no reason to rush since it's not timed. Just relax. 
take them cancels out whenever you can, whenever they pop out. That's pretty much it. Not really too much to say about this part. It's mostly uh, me just kind of sitting back, relaxing, taking care of all the enemies before I move up. Not too hard. Then around here, when I run out of ammo, definitely want to make sure you use up all your ammo first. No need to run in recklessly. So I just kind of run across, like I said, and pick up those red clips. Now I got a few more clips of hammer burst ammo. Go ahead and pick these up and back up. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to do it the way I do it. You, you can get up there and get some shots off with the, uh, with that sawed off. Like, you can do it. I've done it in uh, previous attempts. It just so happened that I died in those previous attempts. Not so much because I ran up there with the, uh, with the sawed off. I just kind of, um... You know, I get I get bum rushed or a random ink will come and kill me. Like you can do it. It's just uh, since you die so fast and there's no downs, I just recommend sitting back and you know picking them off one by one, taking all these red clips if you can. And uh, there's I don't know for me there's usually one or two enemies just left kind of hanging out up here. And that, that shot hurt my hill, so I'm going to hit him, take him out real quick. And I didn't even see that guy. I thought that was a teammate. So I go ahead and finish him off. And that's it for getting up here. Except for this one last Cantus. Once you're up here, there shouldn't be too many enemies left. So you should just, you know, be able to pick them off one by one. And for this part, I usually like to uh, try to get somewhere near the middle or on the sides if you have a teammate with you. And I uh, pick off a few of the boomers, but I like to focus mainly on the Cantuses. So they don't uh, let go of those tickers and throw those inks, because they can throw them inks pretty much halfway across the map. Don't miss shots like I do. But uh, definitely go ahead and get them collaterals like I do. And I like to, you know, you hear you hear the tickers. And then reload this thing and drop it and look for them. Luckily, I don't die there. But definitely, I wanna uh, you wanna focus on those cantuses to keep those tickers from coming up there and blowing you up. To me, it's a good idea to kind of, you know, spot up right in the middle of your teammates. Because uh, the tickers will blow up if they're near one of your teammates, and that leaves you relatively safe. But, uh, you know, once they get close enough, I usually put the one-shot down if you're good enough to use all the ammo before they get up here. Use a bad man. But then, pretty much, it's just rinse and repeat from what you did down below. Keep yourself in cover. Don't leave your head poked out too long, just in case one they get one of those miraculous uh, curve and boom shots to hit you in the face, and then just pick them off, and you're done. So, you know, like I said, I'm not a guide maker. Just, you know, if this if this can help you, this is just me doing it by myself. I'm just putting it up there. If this helps you, you know, you're welcome. If it doesn't, you know, leave me a comment below. But that's it for me. I'm out. Catch y'all later. Peace.